Good evening, sisters and brothers. So thankful to be with you this evening as we are gathered together for evening prayer. You can follow along with our worship service found on page two of the bulletin, which you can find on our website. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Turn us again, O God of our salvation, that the light of your face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun, and may the poor be lifted up. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. Prayer rise up like incense before you, the living. 
lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. All praise to the God of all, creator of life. All praise be to Christ and the Spirit of love. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. A reading from Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. But how are we supposed to do that in a time like now? How are we supposed to be joyful? How are we supposed to be rejoicing right now? Especially as we're called to do it always. Well, on our own, we are not. We can't. We can't rejoice. We can't find joy. We can't do any of this apart from God. It doesn't just say rejoice always again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And how are we able to rejoice in the Lord always? Well, here are the promises of God that follow. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. This is the promise of God, that even right now, in the midst of this pandemic, God is near. He's near to you in your hurts. He's near to you in your suffering. He's near to you in your pain, in your anguish, in your worry, in your anxiety. God is near to you. And he draws you nearest to him, so that you may know you are cared for, that you may know you are loved, that you may know that he is with you even now. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. He is so near to you, you are so near and dear to him, that you can speak with him during this time. You can talk to him. This gift that we call prayer allows us to lift our voices, to cry out to God in our pain, in our anguish, in our worry, and our anxiety. God calls for us to speak with him and to know that we are able to do it with thanksgiving we can say thank you lord because he is near and because he hears us and in the midst of it all even when we're hurting even when we're worried even when we're anxious even when we don't know how we might rejoice god calls us into his joy because he promises his peace the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's right. God promises his peace, a peace that we can't even understand, that is guarding our hearts and minds and is doing so in Jesus. Jesus who died for you, who rose for you. Jesus who lives for you right now. Jesus who is with you right now, who draws you near to him in your baptismal promises, that you would know that as you are near to him, he 
brings you joy. Joy that comes in the midst of sadness. Joy that comes in the midst of pain. Joy that comes in the midst of worry. Joy that comes in the midst of anxiety. Joy that is Jesus himself. To promise you that all that you are feeling, all that you are hurting with, all of this, even this pandemic, will not last forever. But the joy that we have in the Lord it already is forever. That joy is eternal in Him. And it is a joy we know in Jesus. In the life that we have in our Lord, in the life that we share in together, in the life that we make up as the body of Christ. For in His life we have life. My dear sisters and brothers, the Lord is near. Each and every time you are in his word, each and every time you lift your voices in prayer, the Lord is near. And even when you're worried, even when you're doubting, even when you're questioning, even when you're struggling, he is near. And he draws you near to him, especially in Jesus, so that these words, the words that come to us today, can fill your heart with the promises of God. And in that, we say this, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bishop Meekes, 
Bishop Emeritus Venki, for all pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all people, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For President Trump, for Governor Cuomo, for Mayor de Blasio, for Borough President Diaz, for all public servants, for the government, and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed. Let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in our congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, and for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, especially as we suffer through the pandemic of COVID-19, let us pray to the Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.